Hi everyone, this is Steve with Otaku Henshin. I've actually been hanging on to this Complete Selection Modification Kabuto Zector for quite some time, waiting for this Hyper Zector to come out, and I wanted to do a video review set for you guys of both of them. This will be done in a two-part video, so we will be looking at the Kabuto Zector first. So let's go ahead and take a look at the box. So this is definitely quite a big box. We can see Kabuto right here on the front, and it says Complete Selection Modification Kabuto Zector. And it also says that in katakana in this white line here. You can take a better look at that on the side. And then on the middle part here, this is actually kind of a honeycomb look to it. And you can feel it. It bumps up. And it's the same exact thing on this side. Top and bottom are just plain black. And then you can see on the back all that fun information. So let's go ahead and take this off the front. And we can see that they have Kabuto here with the belt and they have the Zector showing through there. And once you take that out, we can see the actual Zector there. So let's go ahead and pull this all out and we'll show you what comes with it. First off, we obviously have our instructions. And we have the actual belt here. You can see the pads on the side. This one doesn't make any noise. This one does make the clock up sound. And then on the back here, you can see this is just a Velcro. Here is where we open the belt up and you can resize it as needed. It does go pretty wide. Let's put this back on here. Now we have our Kabuto Zector here. It does need two AAA batteries and it does not come with them. You just have to press in on this little hole, pop this open. The wings do come out and it pretty much functions exactly the same as the DX toy, including where the switch is. Let's go ahead and stick this into the belt. Those are the only sound effects we get right now. Then we're going to cast off. Of course, we can do this as well. And finally, we have our... And as far as those one, two, three buttons, technically you could just press one, three times, but obviously for visual effects, you would do one, two, three. And then as far as the clock up pad, all you have to do is just And also, Lock up. Lock over. you can just shut it off by hitting it a second time. So now that I no longer have the DX belt, it's definitely nice to have this in replacement. This is actually my second complete selection modification belt. The first one I got was the Kuga belt. That one, though, I do wish I still had it. I was able to make double the money I spent on it when I sold it, so I think it was well worth the sale. I know with the DX toys you can definitely make modifications to the belt so it'll fit properly, but 
Obviously, they don't look quite as nice as these complete selection belts do. We can see on the sides here, it just has a much nicer look to it than just those plastic straps. I'm definitely really excited for the Fize gear that has been announced, and pre-orders for that will be opening at the end of April. We're looking into the possibilities of getting those in stock, but I have a feeling it's just going to be too expensive to sell once we pay for all the shipping to bring them over here and then have to mark them up so that we can at least make some type of a profit. So we'll definitely look into it, but I can't guarantee anything. As mentioned, next we're going to take a look at the Hypersector, so stay tuned for that video. Make sure to subscribe to us on our channel to keep up with our video reviews. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And make sure to check out our website, otakuhenshin.com, where you can find all kinds of anime, tokusatsu, and video game merchandise as well. Thanks for watching this video, you guys, and stay tuned for the next one.